Hey guys, Bellatrix Wetzel here, and thank you for joining me for yet another speed build. Um, so this is Stuck in Stone, and it came out to 132,224 simoleons. It was built on a 30 by 20 lot, which is apparently my favorite lot to build on. <laughs> it's like all I ever build on. Um, anyways, uh, and it's a two bedroom, two bathroom. So this is a um, a recreation sort of a recreation. It's a recreation of a house that I built a little while ago, but I never actually finished. So, it you know, it's a recreation and, like, finishing of a house, I guess. Um, yeah, so, the idea behind this, as you guys will see um, soon, is this is a house that's, um, I mean, the main... The main living floors are the two top ones because the uh, bottom floor is just, just has like a small little gym to it because it's an elevated house um, and it's elevated because it's built surrounded by stone, um, you know, stones that actually go sort of in the wall and creep in. So yeah, that was just sort of the inspiration for it. I just wanted a house that had um, a little bit of stone all around and I mean, we can't level, you know, terrain here. Um, which kind of, which really sucks. I really hate that about The Sims 4. Um, but, I mean, you know, you can come up with other creative ways to alter the look of the train by adding rocks and stones and, in this case, a seat. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just sort of play with that a little bit. Um, I'm so happy that I waited to, f to do this a lot. Um, like that I didn't finish it way back when because if I had I probably wouldn't have recreated it um because it's there's a like you put a lot of work into this kind of build um but back then I didn't have that many like stuff packs um or expansions there were a couple out not that many but I just I didn't really buy them um so yeah I, I was very limited on the items and now because of like the, you know there's the um seatings that look like stones and that I think it's an ottoman or whatever from the get together pack I want to say the get together pack um you know made of stone and it just sort of like fits in perfectly um yeah and on the original build that I'd done of this I didn't actually think about filling up the area with like a couple of wild plants um but I actually think it added just the right look to this build um especially since the idea in this house is the family who lives here has just moved in so they haven't had much time to do too much landscaping um you see there's a couple of flowers that i end up planting in the front um in my head it was just sort of like the people who are selling the house or who first built it or whatever they did a little bit of landscaping just for like that curb appeal thing you know to make it more appealing to sellers um but the family itself has like just moved in has been living here for maybe like a week um, they're still settling in. Um, but you guys will get to meet them soon once I finish the, um, building of the house, right before I get into furnishing. Uh, you guys get to meet the family. Um, which is actually coming up pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, so this house has, is full of balconies, um, since there's no actual front and back decks. Uh, it's just balconies. Um, <laughs> a little everywhere. Um, so originally, the only way to get to the backyard was, it, you know, getting to the ground floor. So if you were in the living room, in the kitchen, or anywhere, you actually had to go down some stairs to go outside. I mean, you still have to go downstairs, but it's a little bit different. There's a direct there's direct access from that middle floor to the outdoors um, that I add a little later on. Um, but yeah, so just working on the floor plan. <laughs> I realized I made a bit of a mistake with the sizing there. Um, because once again, when I do recreations, I sort of, I get a rough estimate of the size of the old, of the old build. Um, and you know, I sort of, I, I count, uh, the squares, like the grid, the squares on the grid sort of give me a better idea of it, but I don't always get it right because it's, it's, uh, it's a lot to do. Um, so sometimes I make sizing mistakes like I did there and I fix them. Because I'm like, oh, well, that just looks really, really awkward. <laughs> um, yeah, so, surprise, surprise, that it's decided to put some stone 
for some of the walls. Uh, the rest was sliding, which I don't know. It just really looked good together. Um, and there you go. You have a stone patch. <laughs> because what's a stone house without a stone patch? Um, yeah, and here we go. I put in some fencing around the rocks. Um, not that there's any little kids living here, but, you know, if they had anyone over, you wouldn't want little kids climbing on the rocks. It's just not safe. You know, in theory, anyone who's too short or too young to climb over that fence is too young to climb on the rocks. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, let's meet the family that will be moving into this house. It is the Benson Carter family. So this is Hugo Benson. He has the computer with aspiration. He's a geek. He loves the outdoors and he's active. So the little storyline is Hugo and Aaliyah, who we'll meet a little bit later, um, each had kids in separate previous marriages. Um, and they've fallen in love and, you know, they just moved in together. They bought a house together and they moved in with their daughters. Um, their daughters are a little bit different personality-wise. You guys will see that when you guys get to meet them. Uh, so let's just go through Hugo's outfits really quickly. So this is his everyday look. Here is his formal wear. His active wear. His sleepwear. His party. And his swimwear. All right, we're just going to go ahead and meet Aaliyah before we introduce you guys to the kids. <clears throat> All right, so this is Aaliyah Carter. She has the Master Chef aspiration. She's a foodie. She loves the outdoors, and she is family-oriented. So this is her everyday outfit. Here is her formal, her athletic wear, her sleepwear, her party wear, and her swimwear. There we go. Now we're going to meet her daughter. So this is Cadence Carter. She has the big happy family aspiration. She loves the outdoors and she's cheerful. So let's take a quick look at her outfits. So that's her everyday look. Here's her formal, her athletic, her sleepwear, her party wear, and her swimwear. So, you know, she's a little bit more of a, I don't know what, oh, I had this, like, train of thought, um, but it's just sort of, like, faded. Um, she's a lot less superficial than, um, than Hugo's daughter, who we're going to meet very soon. You can see that in her personality traits and maybe a little bit in her outfit and how she, you know, portrays herself. She doesn't wear that much makeup. She wears very casual clothes. Not that I'm saying that people who wear a lot of makeup or non-casual clothes are superficial. They're not at all. But for the purposes of this family, I am saying that. <laughs> um, all right. So now we're going to meet Hugo's daughter, Sydney Benson. So she is fabulous. She wants to be fabulously wealthy. She's materialistic, and she's a snob. Um, whoops. That was her party wear. Okay. Um, so here's her everyday outfit. Here is her formal. Her athletic wear. Her sleepwear. Her party wear. And her swimwear. Um, I feel like if there was a career path that allowed you to become, like, a model or an actress or something, um, it would be, like, perfect for Sydney. She, it would be got the kind of thing that she would, like, definitely go to. Um, you know, other than being, like, wanting to be fabulously wealthy, I think she also wants to be, like, super, super popular and in the public eye. Um, so I guess I'd probably put her in the either social media career or entertainment um yeah anyways that is the family and let's get back to building the house all right i apologize for that a little bit of awkward transition from the uh build narration to meeting the family i sort of didn't realize uh how short one of my clips was so I just kept talking over it so i had to just sort of like edit that out um and the audio and then i realized that part of my audio 
didn't fully record for the beginning of the family introduction, like just a couple of words. So to re-record that, um, literally just me saying, let's meet the family. Done, because that part just decided to cut out of my original footage. Um, yeah, anyways, here we go. We are working on the interior, starting with the kitchen, which is my absolute favorite room. It's it's such a nice kitchen. There's so much storage, and I'm so jealous of this kitchen right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyways, so as you probably noticed, or hopefully noticed from the flooring um, and the wallpaper is, you know, some of it's very, very bare and blank. Um, because like I said, this, you know, this family, they just moved in, um, and this house has just been built, and, you know, they want to renovate it sort of how they want, so, um, I end up putting wallpaper in the kitchen and dining room, um, and, did I put flooring in there? Do I change the flooring? I might actually change the flooring in there. Let me just check the screenshots really quickly. Um, where is that kitchen? Okay, yeah, I do change the flooring in there, um, because I thought about it, and I'm like, well, to, you know, fix the flooring, um, to do renovations like that, you'd have to, like, completely rip out the gar uh, the kitchen, um, and it just didn't really make sense to rip out that nice of a kitchen, even though it's a Sims, and you don't really have to do that, um, so I just decided to put flooring in there and be like, okay, so that's not one of the rooms that needed improving, um, but the, uh, the downstairs area... In the bathrooms, they, you know, are very, very blank. White walls, white concrete floors. Because, um, you know, they're just not the priority rooms. So they were sort of left for, you know, to be dealt with later. Um, but yeah, so this living room is really cute. I don't think I use green, you know, usually. Um, but I, I went for it. I just, I really, really liked that green of the couch. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, yeah, so I wanted a white wall so that, like, the plain white walls that had no molding on it sort of looked like that was the only thing they were missing. Um, like, it, you know, like, the rooms are almost complete. Um, and you'll soon see that I start adding sort of boxes as decoration everywhere because, like I said, you know, this family has just moved in, like, maybe lived here for a week, so they're not completely done unpacking. Um, so there's not, you know, an excessive amount of decoration in this, uh, house. Um, and you'll see the personality of this bedroom doesn't scream the personality of the girls, because a lot of their stuff is still in boxes. Um, yeah. <laughs> so there we go. There's still a nice little pile of boxes in the corner waiting to be opened up. You know, maybe there's some makeup, some paintings, some posters, maybe different bed sheets. Uh, I don't know, you know, <laughs> just things like that that might be um, missing from the room just now. You got, I end up putting more boxes in the dining room, like, you know, maybe they're not finished unpacking all their pots and pans. You know, they just got the basics for the first few meals. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I put like two or three boxes in the living room and then of course some more in the master bedroom. Um, just like really anywhere where there was empty space, I stuck boxes because it really makes sense. Like I moved in to the apartment I'm currently living right now, moved in Decem in December, so I've been living here for like five months and I still have a couple of boxes full of my things. Um, I mean that's due more to lack of room than, you know, laziness to unpack. Um, but, anyways, my point is it's not, like, unrealistic to have boxes just laying around everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, working on the master bathroom right here. I actually prefer the smaller bathroom to this one, though the sort of wall accent I do for the bathroom I really, really like. Um, it's the best part of that bathroom, but all in all, I prefer the, the second little main bathroom. I just think it's a lot cuter. Um... Yeah, anyways, I really did not like that, you know, the wall lines for the master bedroom and the bathroom, they looked really good, but to have them, you know, I needed to actually go through to the other wall, so I just covered it up with two dressers and some plants. Um, very awkwardly located plants, but it looked nice. <laughs> um, yeah, so Hugo, who's, you know, sort of a geek and a, oh, I forgot what that aspiration is called, 
It's like the tech aspiration. I'm just going to say that. I'm sorry for not remembering the actual term of it. Um, yeah, so he has this nice sort of clean looking desk to work on. He has his laptop up there. Uh, his laptop is, you know, desktop up there. Um, maybe he has a couple, like a tablet or something in one of those boxes that he hasn't unboxed yet. Which actually sounds ridiculous now that I'm saying that out loud. Like, you, you don't box your tablet. I, I didn't even box my laptop up. I just stuck it in a bag and, like, whipped it out. Like, one of the first things I did was I took my laptop out of my bag and I set it up on a table. Um, anyways. Getting a little distracted. Um. Yeah. Anyways, the, this build was actually very easy to furnish. And not just because of the fact that a lot of the decorations was in boxes. It just, I had such a clear idea of what I wanted this build to look like and, and how I wanted the people in it to be that it just sort of like everything sort of clicked and went into place and I'm just really really happy about that. Only thing I don't like is the placement of the um, uh, barbecue but I really wanted sort of like that lounge area with the you know chairs by the pool um, so there was it was really like the only place to put the barbecue. It, didn't, it fit really awkwardly on the balcony so just by looking at the balcony, I could see that it would have looked really, really awkward. So I just stuck it in that little angled area. I mean, it works. It's just something tells me you don't really want to be barbecuing right by a, a pool. So anyways, a um, couple of, you know, gardening areas in that front balcony. Because what's a house of mine without a pool and gardening pots? <laughs> um, okay, there you go. I'm working on that little tiny bit of landscaping. Um, originally I do, you know, this full-on grid pattern thing, um, but I end up changing it. I apologize for the paused X-split thing that keeps popping up. I kept hitting my, um, Windows, like, menu button instead of the Alt button to put things wherever I wanted them. So, anyways, I apologize about that. <laughs> um, yeah, at first I go a little crazy with the plants, and then I actually think about it, I'm like, no, okay, they just moved in here. They won't have this much landscaping done. It's just basic curb appeal landscaping that they have. Um, oh, and I'm not actually entirely sure if you can get to that garbage. Um, but I mean, at worst comes to worst, you can use your neighbor's garbage, right? <laughs> Anyways, here are the screenshots. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe so you know when my next videos are up. Um, link in the description below to where you can download this house and this family along with everyone else I've created and every other house I've built. Um, yeah. Okay, there's so many more screenshots than I have words left. Um, <laughs> so like I said, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I do hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Um, and I promise there will be a modern build coming soon. I just have lacked inspiration for modern builds. But hopefully either Friday's build or next Monday's build will be modern. Um, yeah. Alright. I think I'm done talking. I don't have that many screenshots left. Bye, guys. <laughs>